Greg Sir took command of the San Francisco Police Department in April of 2011, he had a scandal on his hands. The city's public defender, Jeff Adachi, kept releasing surveillance video that appeared to show undercover SFPD officers illegally searching SRO hotel rooms. It is critical to our success that we have and maintain the public's trust. The character of the officers of the SFPD must be above reproach. From the start of his tenure, Sir made it a priority to weed out this kind of corruption. And in May of 2011, he first mentioned a plan that would eventually become a body camera pilot program. According to a letter from Sir to the U.S. Department of Justice, it took an entire year from the first mention for the SFPD to even begin researching body cameras. It took roughly another year until the summer of 2013 for the department to ensure that Taser International would be the vendor and that their Axon Flex camera system would be the product. The Axon Flex is a breakthrough point of view video system that will revolutionize transparency between law enforcement agencies and their communities. By August of that year, Sir was confident that the program was ready to launch, telling the San Francisco Chronicle that the pilot program will begin in the next six weeks. Six weeks became four months, when in January of 2014, Sir said a body camera rollout was now just two weeks away. Those two weeks came and went. Then in March, SFPD officers shot and killed Alejandro Nieto, once again prompting calls for body cameras. Spring and summer dragged on without any body cameras being deployed. Then in September of 2014, SFPD received the final quote from Taser. In November, Taser officially announced the SFPD purchase, and in December, the San Francisco Controller's Office sent payment to Taser in return for 165 Axon Flex cameras and accessories. After being in possession of the cameras for nearly four months, Sir appeared on KQED Newsroom in April of 2015. And yet San Francisco police officers still do not have body cameras. Why? So uh, we're about to start a pilot probably in the next 30 days or so. We have a meeting later this week to finish up the, the policy and then get the cameras out. Why does it take so long? I mean, I believe that just like walkie-talkies and here in San Francisco, smartphones, we got them for all the officers a couple years ago, I believe that body cameras are going to be standard issue for every police officer in the country at some point in time. Uh, we got to get it figured out, but we will. Two weeks later, the pilot program was suddenly dead, replaced by a full rollout when Mayor Ed Lee announced $6 million in funding. To fund approximately 1,800 body cameras, allowing us to build more public trust uh, and also transparency and accountability with our residents. This over four year process that the San Francisco Police Department has gone through hasn't been very transparent. And there are still no body cameras on the streets of San Francisco. Every patrol officer by 2016, are we on target for that? Uh, I, I hope so. We, we've There's been a lot of talks about delays, though. I'm sure you're aware. Yeah, there really haven't been any delays. The wait continues.